it looks like the social isolation thing uh, didn't work out over here. Um, everyone just came and took all that. I don't know what it was, but it must have been good. Hey guys, it's me Simi Pothead and today we are going to do a very short tutorial on how to download the complete cooking overhaul by Seriously. Um, so basically, um, it's I'm just going to read you guys a little bit what it's about. So it says here that um, is it is the complete overhaul of all things cooking. This mod changes the EA recipes to make them more realistic and immersive, expands EA recipes and adds custom recipes and adds grocery shopping to your game. Um, so basically, this simmer uh, modder created this so that you guys can actually have more access to the food in the game and also makes better food. So basically, you can either go through a rabbit hole, go to the grocery store, and then pick out all of this food you want, um, or you can go to the actual grocery store, which I will show you how to download for your game, that your sim can actually go visit and then buy the items off of the grocery store, like, shelves and stuff, just like the real, like, the real world. Um, so yeah, it's really awesome and you can actually like click on the refrigerator still and you have way more options there too. It's awesome that we can have access to more food easily. I always get confused by um, food in The Sims. I usually just go for the same five items just because it's a little confusing but this really makes it feel like we're living vicariously through our sims with more choices and you can put the food on the shelves in your own home or in your inventory and just eat that if your sim's hungry on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's really awesome. So I'm going to show you how to download this. So you're going to need um, actually get to work and city living in order to have this mod work just so you know. So um, yeah. So as you can see you can also use your computer in order to buy things off of the internet or you can use your phone as well to buy food. Um, there's the rabbit hole grocery store um, where you click your sim and you can go shopping and there's also a way to visit the grocery store by clicking on travel on your phone and then you can go there and then as you can see here's all of the food items. So as you can see, if you click on the refrigerator, you'll be able to see all of these great things. I'll show you this more when we go into the game later if you want. But um, yeah, and if you keep going, there's just like all the different types of food you can download um, through this mod. And basically, you can download at the bottom. So you can either download from here or... Um, I gave the link to the patron, um, so that is this um, this uh, page here. So what you want to do is actually go down here, and the page that I was just on is through, if you just click here, if you want to read more about it. So basically, um, they added all these different types of chips and stuff, so that's really cool. Um, and yeah, so you have all these different chips here. And then you have the drink machine and new recipes. So it's really awesome. You have a drink machine too um, at the, these um, grocery stores and have all these different types of drinks. Um, and so what you want to do is go down until you see the seriously um, complete cooking overhaul. So what you want to do is click that and it will download down in the download section below. You are also going to want to download the Greenfield Grocery Store, which I will show you how to download as well, which allows you to not only download um, this complete cooking um, stuff and all this stuff in it, um, but you also can download this grocery store so that you can actually click on your sim and go shopping um, and then you to this retail lot, which is super cool. So what you want to do now is go down and what you want to do is click, um, first you want to have the vending machines mod and the cooler mod and fridge because then um, you will be able to use these items. Um, you will not be able to use these items in the grocery store if you don't download these mods. So yes, it's um, a four, like, <laughs> there are four mods that you're downloading, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you want to do is click on each one of them and they're going to open um, in separate tabs and then you what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom on here all the way down and see you can de literally buy all of these things which is really awesome it comes with all of this 
These had to be placed individually, so they really went out of their way to do all of this for you. And you scroll all the way down, oh, look at all this amazing produce here. And you're gonna go all the way down, 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 down. And you can even buy like pots and plants and stuff. Go down here. And then this is how you find it, but we're gonna show you that in the game if you need help finding it. Um, and then you wanna go down and then you're gonna see Greenfield um, a grocery store. And then there's gonna be the grocery store custom content merged and then the custom content unmerged if you don't want certain items. So what we're going to do is first download this zip file here and what we're also going to do is download the custom content merged because that's all the stuff that is going to be in um, inside the actual build. So I'm going to show you how to download the build and also the custom content. What we want to do now is go into here and this is to download the vending machine. So you're just going to scroll all the way down and then click download at Sims file share. And you're going to click that and it's going to bring you to download on Sims file share. So you're just going to want to click download here and you're going to download and it's going to go down in here as well. Then you're going to do the same thing with the grocery store coolers and you're going to go down here and click um, and you're going to need get to work and able to use this mod. So um, yeah, so what you want to do is click download Sim file share. And here we are, we are on the same um, same file share. And you just want to click download and it's going to click and it's going to go download into the bottom here as well. So now this is the tricky part where we're going to move all of these into our mods folder. So bear with me. So what you want to do now is click this little arrow and click show in folder. So now you have all of the mods that we just downloaded here. We should have a total of five. Four of them are going to be zip folders. Zip folders you need to open with a file opener. In the description below, not only do I have the mod link, but I also have in the link below a link to 7-zip, which is a free Windows file opener, which is really great for unzipping files um, and things like that. So what we want to do is also go into our documents here and right click on that. We're going to open a separate um, window here and then we're going to go into electronic arts sims 4 mods and so now we have all my mods folder here so what we want to do is i like to organize my mods so what we are doing now is we're going to create a mod see i separate them all into folders so when i have to update these mods i can just remove all of the files and replace them with the new files so we're going to right click here we're going to click new folder, we're going to click new folder, and click um, grocery store mod. So now we have the grocery store mod here, um, and we're going to click on that, and we're going to go over here, and we're going to first, so what I like to do here is have the, you can either make separate folders for each one of these, but I honestly think that I'm going to just put all of them um into this one folder instead of having a uh, separate folder. So what I want to do is um, click the Seriously Sims cookbook and then cl double click this. And what I want to do here is, um, okay, so what you want to do is highlight all of these except for the text document. So we're going to drag and drop this in here. So we're dragging and dropping the four files that you just saw here into my grocery store. And then I'm gonna click on EA recipes folder and then just select all the, fo the folders here, uh, files here and then um, drag and drop. So as you can see, I'm doing that and then I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna do custom recipes, which is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, and then highlight, move over here. So I'm really moving all of the um, pick and choose here add-ons. So here we have the harvestable price stuff here. So we're just going to move all of this as well. Um, you don't have to do this because they're called add-ons, but you know, I like to include everything. So this um, you also can drag and drop. Just don't put the little file with text on it. So just one package file here. Um, so yeah, we have all of the files now, 
um, within all of this. Um, you just don't want to put the README in there. Um, and then go back. So what we did is we moved all of the folders in the complete cooking overhaul. So now what we want to do is skip the blueprint Greenfield Grocery because that is the actual lot, which I will show you how to download right after this. But basically what you want to do is go into the custom content one and double click and just move this into here as well. Awesome. And then we're going to go backwards and we're going to click grocery cooler and fridge. And we're just going to drag and drop, double click on the folder again. And we're going to move the three packages into here as well. So we're basically putting all of the grocery store stuff in one single file. And then, okay, and finally what you want to do is just drag and drop this last package file here that we downloaded, which is the vending machines one, and just drag and drop into here as well. The main events, which is the last the Blueprint Greenfield Grocery, we are going to go back and we're going to go back into here and then instead of mods we're going to go into the tray folder and we're going to double click on the tray folder and here basically are all of the different houses that you have so what you want to do is you're going to open this folder um, with your file opener and you're going to drag all of this and then you're going to drop it into your house so go like that and it should go right in to your safes. So it's going to be in your gallery, so it's downloadable through your gallery content, um, which is really awesome. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful. That's basically all you had to do. I'm sorry it's a little confusing with all of the extra stuff that there is to download, but I hope it was helpful to just see um, the ways that you can download the content as, um, as well as going to actually be able to go to these grocery stores, um, which is just really awesome because even though it, we are able to technically go to the grocery store, this makes it so much easier to go um, just through clicking your sim and saying let's go shopping and then just go pick up that food and like this modder actually put together this amazing grocery store with the vending machines and the water cooler and like juice cooler or whatever so it just gives your sim a lot more options rather than just limiting it to ea base game so um, yeah, guys, we can now see what it looks like in the game, but I hope this was helpful for the downloads. If you have any questions, please leave a qu question or comment below. Um, and yeah, let's see what it looks like in the game, guys. We are in the game now. So we are in my SimSelf's house. So we're just going to go check out this grocery store and also see all of the new food additions that this mod gave us. So if you guys do want to see what my house looks like in real life, um, my New York City studio apartment, this is actually what it looks like. So um, very small, but um, yeah. And if you saw it in real life, um, you would see it looks exactly like this. Let's just get my sim self over here and she's going to click on the refrigerator to see all of the different items. So here you can see the regular cooking stuff and here is our little icon. So make custom and wow, look at all of these additional stuff you can make. That's insane. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. So if we go into like, for instance, baking desserts, like we have the combstone cake here. Um, that's really cool. And um, if you want to download more stuff, I think you can download additional food on the website. Um, but here we have like healthy snacks, for instance, and we have the caramel apple slices. Ooh, that sounds really good. Um, and yeah, you just like can see all the different cool stuff we have. We have quick meals here. Um, I guess, oh, use fresh ingredients. Um, you can not use fresh ingredients or use fresh ingredients. Um, and then let's see what kind of junk food snacks we have. Wow, we have like all of these classic BBQ chips. These are like all the new chips and stuff that you can have. So if we wanted to like get some of that, for instance, she can go in and go and get some of that sorry she's a little whoopy because of her medication <laughs> um yeah so wow look at that she's got them lime oh no they're <laughs> the sour cream chips but look at that she go is she gonna eat them oh she is gonna eat them 
Oh, those look good. Okay, so um, as you can see here, she can get all the stuff from the fridge, but if you want, you can go into this little phone here, and you should be able to see a new little icon, Shop For, and you can shop for buy drinks, buy fish, buy flowers, buy groceries, and buy veggies, herbs, and fruits. So if you want to buy groceries, for instance, She's looking like she likes those chips. Okay, so as you can see, it pops up here, and these are all of the groceries you can buy. So if I wanted to buy, like, a bag of flour, buy a bag of flour, and, like, since we can't go to the grocery store because of the quarantine, you can just buy all of your food here. Um, box of butter, and let's see, um, we got decaf. Oh, my God, we have all of this stuff. We have Earl Grey tea. Um, and then we have flower extract, green tea, let's get some of that, so we got gummy bears, you know, for a good munchies a night, we got a carton of half a dozen of eggs, honey, like these are all the things that I would buy at the grocery store, so she's gonna purchase that now, so she just spent $85, oh, okay, so it says, thanks for ordering, the items Lena purchased will be delivered to her mailbox. So, really awesome, guys. You don't have to go to the grocery store anymore. You just got to go to the mailbox. Um, so, this is true quarantine style here. Um, the mail delivery man will deliver the food that you ordered online um, when he comes by. So, it's not going to be instantaneous. It actually... Um, the mail carrier actually comes um, Mondays and Tuesdays, I think. So, we might actually have to wait a while in order for us to receive the groceries in the mail so that's a little unfortunate so that's why i recommend you know getting them um in a different way as in going to the grocery store through the rabbit hole or even going uh retailly because when you order it online like in real life you have to wait for it to arrive. Okay, let's uh set up some um shelves so you can kind of have more of like a cabinet style situation if you want um, to hold all of your perishables. So let's go into build mode here. And then I'm just gonna look here for shelves. So I'm just gonna look up shelves here and then we can put up some shelves and then just display the foods. Like for instance, um, if you get like certain like I don't know, if you like to have your stuff displayed, um, you can just put them up on the shelves. So I'm going to just put up like these kind of shelves here. Let's put like one here and one there. Very nice. As you can see, um, with all the stuff that we bought, we can put all of this stuff um, on the shelves if we want. So we can put the animal crackers on the shelves too. Um, if you want to put the um, sodas, you know, we can put them like, you know, out um if you're having a party you can just like place them here and people can drink them um yeah so it's really cool it gives your house more of a lively feel because um like food is usually hanging around a lot so yeah and if you want to put like you know um a flower down you can put it down like wherever you want for decoration or something so that's really nice to see what it's like to go to the grocery store through um, the rabbit hole. So let's click on the sim here um, and then you're going to see go shopping show up. And then you can go to the Greenfield grocery store or the flower shop Monday through Friday. So it's Thursday so let's go to the Greenfield grocery store and She's going to go, at, we're going to follow her out the door here. Here she is. She's going to Greenfield Grocery Store. It's raining. I know she's not really in the mood. Oh, and she fell. She's like, this is why I stay home. And... Okay, so this is a rabbit hole, guys. So... She basically um, just disappears and she goes to the grocery store and then it should ask you, oh Jake's back, um, it should ask you like what kind of food she wants to get there and then she'll come back with those items. So it's really cool so you have the option of doing the rabbit hole or actually going to the store which we will show you next. 
Okay, so here they're going to ask you what kind of foods you want, and you can go into the different sections here. You can get meat, baking, um, tea and coffee. So for baking, um, let's, so for meat and dairy, let's get some wheel of cheese. Um, we're going to splurge tonight, so some milk. Um, and this is crazy because, like, I don't see this kind of stuff in The Sims, you know, and they're very, like, See, we got it in our inventory now. So she came back from the okay, store. So we can also go to this uh, computer here, and you can also buy through food through the computer. So what you want to do is find shop for here, and then you can shop for the same things you can buy through the phone. So if I wanted to buy some fresh herbs and such, um, she can do that. Okay, so we see her here. She's dirty from falling in the mud. <laughs> and here you'll see her looking on the internet for some groceries, just like real life. Um, and you should see a little thing pop up. Sorry, she's daydreaming. <laughs> and here you can buy all of the foods as well. So let's get like a carrot, a cherry, <clears throat> and a green green peas, I guess, and then, whoa, what was $8,000? So it's in high demand, but it's a money fruit. You can, I guess, um, put that in the ground and grow it. Ooh, some wasabi, that sounds good. Taro root, love. Okay, so she ordered that, and now let's see what happens. Thank you for ordering. The item you purchased will be delivered to your mailbox. Okay, so now we're going to see what it looks like for her to go to the um, grocery store, um, the real life grocery store. So what you're going to want to do is go into Manage Worlds. Um, I would suggest saving before going into Manage Worlds. Okay, so now that you are in Manage Worlds, you can place down this grocery store wherever you want. I'm going to put it down in Mongolia just because I have a ton of free space here. So what you're going to want to do is go to open the gallery, and then you're going to go into your gallery um or your library so i'm just going to go into my library okay so what you're going to do is click all you're going to click newest and you're going to click lots and you can also choose your lot type too which is retail and then this should show up which is the greenfield grocery store which is what we just downloaded so make sure that you have your vending machine mod and your cooler and fridge mod downloaded um so let's place the lot down i'm super excited um we're gonna place it down right here um you click yes furnished yes and then it's gonna have all of the foods that we just bought on the internet basically in an actual retail store um and we can go there and like choose and select what we want to buy and it's going to be really freaking awesome um so for those who don't get to go to the grocery store right now because of this whole thing um we can go to the grocery store in the sims okay so here it is the greenfield grocery store oh my god it looks amazing already i'm so excited Okay, so then you're going to go back and you're going to go back to the person that you were playing um, and then we're going to visit this retail lot. Um, I'm very excited. Um, I, I like can't explain to you like I don't use um, food and things like that because I feel like it's so limited and it's very repetitive. So I just stick to like, you know, the typical like chili, you know, grilled cheese all that fun stuff but like deep down i really want my sims to just splurge you know eat all that food that i never got to eat you know so i'm actually thinking with this mod now that i'm seeing it i might do like a challenge um that involves social isolation and just like order food from the outside and then just show you like what people do like the average people do during like social isolation and it's just like um basically just eating food and like doing workouts trying to like shed off that weight anyways oh my gosh who let this kid in anyways she's like what are you doing here <laughs> why and now jake is um going to go to the grocery store with her um so you want to click um travel and we're going to just travel to this retail lot he's going to go with his wife 
Um, and here we are. We're traveling. Okay, so then you're going to go to the retail lot that you placed down. So mine is in Mongolia Promenade. And then you click on there. And then we're going to visit and buy our food in person. Okay, so as you heard the little bell, it means that we have arrived at the retail lot. So let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, as you can see, we already have this little vending machine here. So um, he has a new enemy. That's why he's so upset. Anyway, so let's click on this and we can buy a drink. So we have canned water, canned juice, off-brand soda, and this one doesn't seem to be showing up. Um, so we can get some canned juice here. Let's see what it looks like for him to interact with this um, vending machine here. Oh, nice. Oh, it's. I guess it's kind of like a refrigerator. Okay, so he got his canned juice. Um, now let's see what it looks like when we go inside. So as you can see, there's like also this little vending um, place outside. Um, so we have our cashier over here. So um, you can click shop for and you can click all of these as well. Um, just like the phone. And if you want to buy flowers, you can buy flowers um, too, which is really nice. So if I want to buy like some of these some of that I can buy those and then you can see Lena purchase them and now they're in her inventory here but you can also go over here and you can buy the items that you want on the shelf so that's why I was super excited because I'm like oh it looks like the social isolation thing uh, didn't work out over here um everyone just came and Look all that. I don't know what it was, but it must have been good. So if you guys look around, you can like go and see like, ooh, do I want like, you know, bell peppers or something? Do I want like, um, so for some of these things, you can actually buy these items. Um, and it's really cool because you can just pick them out, um, based off of what you want. And then there's like, also, you know, realistically, these people who make the food, fresh food, um and stuff like that too in this really awesome grocery store we got a baking area here um where you can buy like yummy goods so you can um buy the stuff here and then there's like a little food court too awesome um and like let's see what happens when she goes and she clicks buy item over here for the cooking oil Okay, so as you can see, it was $6, and now she owns it. Um, awesome. So I guess it's worth $1, but she has to pay $6. Really cool, too, is like there are other people that come in and are also here to buy grocery stores. So um, who are also here to buy grocery store items. So that's really cool. Oh my gosh, they also have peanut butter. That's amazing. So what happens if we click open jar if she's like not able to buy I guess like some stuff you can't you can't purchase off the shelf oh oh my god you got 10 spoonfuls okay interesting so I guess some stuff you don't have to pay for and some things you do um off the shelf so that's really cool I guess you don't want to pay for something so let's see if we open okay so we open that too um, and these are, what are they? What? These are six packs of juices. So, um, the six packs of juices she literally just, like, I guess took without having to pay for them. I don't know. There's also this, um, cooler here that you can click on and buy certain groceries from. And, um, that's really cool too. So yeah, and this is also one of the coolers that you can use to buy stuff. And yeah, guys, you can just explore this place on your own. But overall, this is like a really awesome, um, a really awesome grocery store. And also, since there are so many empty shelves, I'm guessing that like if you download some of the optional custom content on the website that they said you can download additional stuff 
can actually have more items on these shelves and also add um, ones yourself. If you go into build mode, you can place certain food items that you want in the store. Um, so let's... Uh, so yeah, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. This is a, uh, honestly a really cool mod that I did not know about until now, um, which is really awesome because honestly, now my Sims can eat really freaking good um, and I don't have to feel guilty about doing it in real life. So um, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment section below. I know it was a little confusing to download this mod, but to be honest, so worth it. So I'm totally here if you guys need any help on if you think that you need help downloading the mod. Um, the link to this mod is in the description along with the file unzipper that you need to download this mod. And yeah, guys, have a good day. I hope you're happy and safe and healthy and keep on simming. Bye!